Hey, what's up, guys? This is Said Arab, and you're watching A Trek Creators YouTube channel. So, in this video, I am going to sh share the review of the latest Evolution X 7.4 Caldi Retro version, which is released for Suite. Also, you can say Redmi Note 10, 10 Pro, and Pro Max, not Redmi Note 10, sorry. And it is based on latest Android 13. So, we got a nice Easter egg of Android 13. So without wasting so guys, further ado, let's so just guys, start this to do is the whole video. UI of this Evolution X. Everything feels so snappy. I am using it from three days, and I have come with all the things that I have covered for this road. First of all, if you go into the settings, you got this Evolver, which from here you can customize everything of your room. Like if you want themes, I have just checked all the things were working. Like if you enable dark themes, you get the bunch of options. Which type of dark theme do you really like? But according to me, I don't like dark themes. So I live in white color also. So no need of me. In white. And for the status bar, everything is working fine. If you ask me the logo, logo is also there. And if you click for the logo, you get the Batman logo also. There you can see this. Let me focus that. Or many other settings like Pac-Man. Or what do you say? Superman symbol is also been there. So you can use it according to you. Apart from that, everything is working fine and the QS is so fluid, no lag stutter that I found in this. It doesn't feel that it is I am operating Redmi Note 10 Pro. It feels me that I am operating Pixel 6 Pro. Op. What do you say? After that, if, uh, in, in the quick setting panel, I have checked, double checked what you say, everything and everything is working on and fine. I don't use these customizations. So I'm purely hearted, not sorry, sorry. I am pure user of this Android in the lock screen. What do you say? Edge light is there and these were working fine. And the fingerprint authentication is also working all around fine. Apart from that, the animation scale and the miscellaneous option is there. In the miscellaneous, you got something new. Like you can schedule always on display and the pixel storage unlimited and higher FPS in games, which is too good. And one more thing is the Netflix proof that you are getting in this room. And you can select the timeout for your volume panel and CPU info toast app icon wave lock blocker. From here you can see USB configuration. You can default select U to USB tethering or what do you say file transfer. So from here you can select these settings also. Apart from that, nothing is new above here for the network internet setting. I am using my primary SIM in this device. So I am not got any issues. So I think what? You also not getting any issues on this also. Apart from that, connected devices option is also been there, so no issues. In the apps, you get the default apps. With the default apps, you get the Pixel Launcher, and that is you know that Pixel Launcher does not provide any sort of customizations. In case if it really helps you like my videos, then please subscribe because it really doesn't cost you anything but you have one your one support and one membership to my channel helps us to build more more and more subs so it is the battery usage that i am seeing right now and the battery is pretty good i have charged my battery i will show you from the accu battery options too you got a one new option over there battery charging one after a certain level of charging it restricts the charging levels so you can use this it is beneficial for those person who generally forget they have plugged into the charging in the sound and vibration, you get the me sound enhancer or reduce a direct sound enhancer. In the haptic feedback intensity, you can increase and the haptic feedback feels super smooth. So you can use that with your own. And guys, there is one question that I want to ask you. If you've thought any, con what do you say, suggestion for my videos, then please suggest in my comment box. After that, display as usual all the things. In the wallpaper and style, you get this unlimited uh, what do you say android theming palette like if i select this and the uh, whole gets changed and what do you say if i generally select this green i generally i love green or what is yellow and that is working all on fine if i used theme icon the theme icon gets started but i don't generally like theme icon so i just disable this app grid is there you can use that and what do you say next is accessibility and accessibility everything is working all around fine you can see this i have any sort of not an issue in this room you can remove animation from your screen but it doesn't feel so smooth 
and you can select bold text or what you so ever in your device after that if you ask me about the refresh rate i have selected to 120 hertz if i just disable this you can see that it pulls down to 60 hertz and in my general use cases i do prefer 120 hertz but not all the times in the thermal profiles there is a one sad reality that i want to share that thermal profiles is not working fine so it's my request to all of you that thermal profiles isn't working so don't try to use that on games or whatever whatsoever in the gesture navigation you get the customizations and you can customization from here like pill radius you can increase or what do you say but i don't like this and you can increase the pill length it totally depends on you guys after that here's got a cube because it is an official build you got an updater apart from that all things i now this time i'm showing the benchmarks to all of you so you can now satisfy your what do you say needs because many people want the benchmarks first of all i will start from the battery you can see this uh, what's uh, look, yeah at 2% to 92% charging for 1 hour 3 minute so you can see that 33 watt fast charging is working around 5 and it doesn't creates any issues and you can now see that it is i am using from 1 hour 2 minutes and only 8% drop that is not so good but because of android 13 i am seeing in many devices that battery backups is getting so worse so this is not so worse you can try out this also apart from that you can you have seen that after that i want to share from the screenshots below and and, and if you guys want any what's your what do you think wallpaper then please join my telegram channels for get your wallpaper this is the what do you say optimization profiles or thermal profiles benchmark enabled run which is for 15 minutes and which give my 175 gips output with the 83 max, max performance and this what do you say uh one second this is without uh, any game space or optimization profiles this was the result that i have got for 15 minutes the graph is so good and cpu throttle for 91 percent its max performance this is a wildlife extreme stress test and i have run that no issues that i've faced the stability is 99.7 percent and which is so good because this test gives takes 15 to 20 minutes and after that your device gets hot but in this row you are not getting this kind of issues and uh, what do you say where it's gone this is the storage speed test of the antro 2 and this is not so good and this is the antro 2 score that 352565 what do you say i don't like this score because it's not so good after that this is a geekman score which is pretty impressive you can see that single code is 521 and multi code is 535 so guys this is all for the these things if you ask me about the safety net test and it still passed the safety net test so you are able to run and that this all would so be the what do you say device certification if i generally go to the settings and pull over the device certification now you can see that the device is certified with no hustles so you can also run your banking apps only now this time i i would highly recommend this android 13 rom which is emulation x 7.4 in your device like if you can see this the opening closing everything animations feel super smooth and fine everything is no no lag no now i am on 60 hertz so you might feel a little jerk and if i just disable what do you say one one second if what do you say if i just disable the in the display section and what where it's gone smooth display and now you can see the smoothness of 120 hertz and the opening closing everything is working flawlessly so this is all right now guys if you are really interested in my videos then please please subscribe and like to the video so till then